Exam Folder 7. Listening Part 2. Questions 6 to 10. Listen to Penny talking to her cousin about the presents she bought on holiday for her friends. Who got which present? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Nick. Hi, Penny. How was your holiday in Switzerland? Oh, it was great. Hot and sunny every day and some nice shops. Oh, look, Nick. I bought you a cup. Oh. See? It's got Switzerland written on it. Oh, thanks. Did you get a pen for James? He's always taking mine. I got him a CD of a local band. He likes anything to do with music. True. What about Becky? Did you get her a watch? It might help her to be on time. <laughs> She's actually getting one for her birthday. So I got her some nice soap. Look, it's in a really lovely box. Mm, she'll like that. And for Alice, well, Alice is difficult to buy for. But in the end, I bought her a book about skiing. Ah, good idea. Now, what about Tom? He's got lots of books about Switzerland, so I bought him a picture to put on his wall. Hmm. That leaves Lucy. You didn't get her a watch, did you? No, I just got her a comb. I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> OK. Anyway, I must go. Thanks for the cup. Now listen again. Hi, Nick. Hi, Penny. How was your holiday in Switzerland? Oh, it was great. Hot and sunny every day and some nice shops. Oh, look, Nick. I bought you a cup. Oh. See? It's got Switzerland written on it. Oh, thanks. Did you get a pen for James? He's always taking mine. I got him a CD of a local band. He likes anything to do with music. True. What about Becky? Did you get her a watch? It might help her to be on time. <laughs> She's actually getting one for her birthday. So I got her some nice soap. Look, it's in a really lovely box. Mm, she'll like that. And for Alice, well, Alice is difficult to buy for. But in the end, I bought her a book about skiing. Ah, good idea. Now, what about Tom? He's got lots of books about Switzerland, so I bought him a picture to put on his wall. Hmm. That leaves Lucy. You didn't get her a watch, did you? No, I just got her a comb. I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> OK. Anyway, I must go. Thanks for the cup. Unit 14. Books and studying. 14.1. Exercise 6. 1. Rights. 2. No. 3. White. 4. What. 5. Listen. 6. Who? 14.1. Exercise 7. 1. Island. 2. Castle. 3. Half. 4. Climb. 5. Autumn 6. Knife 7. Wednesday 8. Hour Fourteen point two. Exercises 3 and 4 Hello, can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about Saturday classes at the school. I'm afraid the classes are full until the end of October. 
The new classes begin on the third of November. Can you send me a check, and I'll keep a place for you? It's thirty pounds for each class. Which classes are you interested in? Singing and dance. That'll be sixty pounds then. And what time do classes begin? I'm free all morning. The school opens at nine o'clock on Saturdays, and classes start at nine fifteen. Could I visit the school to see what it's like? Of course, we're in Marylebone High Street. That's M A R Y L E B O N E.、Mm-hmm. Thanks. Can I get a bus rather than come by car? Yes, there's the one three nine or the one eight nine. The one eight nine stops right outside the school. Oh, that's great. When can I come and visit? Any time. What about next week? Okay, I'll do that. Thank you very much. Not at all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Fourteen point two, exercise five. One. I can't come swimming tomorrow afternoon. It doesn't matter. Two. Ouch! You stood on my foot. I'm so sorry. Three. Can I have a kilo of tomatoes, please? That'll be one pound fifty. Four. I've passed all my exams. Congratulations. Five. Would you mind opening the window? Not at all. Six. Would you like a drink? Nothing for me, thanks. Seven. Hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. Eight. Hi. Is that Sally speaking? No, it's Lisa. Nine. Can I sit here? I'm afraid it's taken. Ten. Let's go to the cinema. Sorry, I can't. I'm busy. Unit fifteen, the world of work, fifteen point two, exercise five. Melody Music Shop. Yes, this is Kate Richards. How can I help? My name's Sam Bennett. I've just seen your advertisement for a Saturday job. What are the hours? The shops open from ten to six, but I need someone to start at nine and stay until seven. I'm always here from eight till eight on Saturdays, so I really need help then. I see. What kind of help? Well, the most important thing is helping customers, being a shop assistant. I also want someone to do a bit of cleaning at the end of the day, so I can do the money. Fine. How much do you pay? If you aren't eighteen yet, it's five pounds twenty-five an hour. Actually, I am eighteen. Then it's six pounds thirty, and after nine months, I'll pay seven pounds an hour. Sounds great. Uh, where is the shop? I've never been there. It's not in the town centre. If you know the university, it's about three minutes' walk from there. I live in Weston, but I can cycle along the river to get there. That's true. Well, any other questions?、Um, when can I come and see you about the job? I'm free on Wednesday afternoon. Sorry, I've got a meeting then. How about Thursday or Friday? I can come early on Thursday at nine. Fine. See you then. Great. Fifteen point two, exercise six. Listen. That's true. Well, any other questions? How about Thursday or Friday? Listen and repeat. That. Other. Thursday. 
Now write these words in group one, th, as in that, or group two, th, as in Thursday. Thunder. Van. Those. Theatre. Thirty. Month. Leather. Nothing. Fifteen point two. Exercise seven. One. I've worked for the last two months in my father's shop. Two. Let's look at all these job adverts together. Three. I thought you were working at the museum. Have you finished there? Four. Jenny, thanks for looking through my article. Five. That footballer earns a hundred and thirty thousand euros a month. Six. My brothers just got a job in the north of Sweden. Unit sixteen, transport, sixteen point two, exercise three. One, which train is leaving next? Excuse me, is this the Bristol train? No, this one's leaving for Oxford in five minutes. There's been a change to the Bristol train. You need to go over the bridge to platform four. Oh dear, have I got enough time to get there? Plenty. That's the London train that's ready to leave. Yours will be the next train after that one. Now listen again. Excuse me, is this the Bristol train? No, this one's leaving for Oxford in five minutes. There's been a change to the Bristol train. You need to go over the bridge to platform four. Oh dear, have I got enough time to get there? Plenty. That's the London train that's ready to leave. Yours will be the next train after that one. Two. How will the girl get to the cinema? Can you tell me where the ABC Cinema is, please? Certainly. Turn left at the next traffic lights, and then take the second on the right. Is that Green Street? That's the turning after. It's Robertson Road. You need go nearly to the end, and you'll see the cinema on your left. Now listen again. Can you tell me where the ABC Cinema is, please? Certainly. Turn left at the next traffic lights, and then take the second on the right. Is that Green Street? That's the turning after. It's Robertson Road. You need go nearly to the end, and you'll see the cinema on your left. Three. Where is Kate's boat now? Hi, Kate. We've just crossed over to the island now. How far have you got? Well, Adam, I can't describe anything because there's water all around.、Uh, we went under a bridge about a quarter of an hour ago, if that means anything. Sounds like you'll reach us in about an hour then. Sorry, it's taking so long. Bye. Now listen again. Hi, Kate. We've just crossed over to the island now. How far have you got? Well, Adam, I can't describe anything because there's water all around.、Uh, 
we went under a bridge about a quarter of an hour ago, if that means anything. Sounds like you'll reach us in about an hour then. Sorry it's taking so long. Bye. 4. How will the woman get to work today? Mike, it's Anne. Listen, there are no trains this morning because of last night's winds. Is it OK if I get a taxi into work? Will the company pay? Can't you use your car? It's much cheaper. I'm afraid it's at the garage. OK, then. But make sure you ask for a receipt. See you later. Now listen again. Mike, it's Anne. Listen, there are no trains this morning because of last night's winds. Is it OK if I get a taxi into work? Will the company pay? Can't you use your car? It's much cheaper. I'm afraid it's at the garage. OK, then. But make sure you ask for a receipt. See you later. 5. Where is the nearest petrol station? Can you tell me where I can get some petrol? Well, the cheapest place is on the motorway. It's not far. You can get on at the next roundabout. I really need a nearer one. I haven't got much left. I see. Turn left by the lights, then, and you'll find one on the right next to a bank, about 200 metres down that road. Now listen again. Can you tell me where I can get some petrol? Well, the cheapest place is on the motorway. It's not far. You can get on at the next roundabout. I really need a nearer one. I haven't got much left. I see. Turn left by the lights, then, and you'll find one on the right next to a bank, about 200 metres down that road. 16.2. Exercise 4. Listen to these examples. A quarter of an hour ago. Because of last night's winds. 1. We've got some heavy luggage. 2. Why did you go to Greenland, of all places? 3. Some people travel a lot for work. 4. Can I ask you a couple of questions? 5. The journeys by train and coach. 6. Kate's emailed us some directions to the house. 7. My hotel room's very dark. There are no towels and the TV doesn't work. 8. On the left of the square, there's a bank. 4. This test is in the teacher's book. Listening Part 2 Listen to Harry telling Joanna what jobs people in his family do. Which job does each person do? For questions 1 to 5, write a letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Joanna. Oh, hi, Harry. Good news. My dad's just got a new job. Really? Yes. He's become head chef at the new restaurant in town. Great. Do you think your mum will stop working at the hospital now? No. She loves being a nurse there. I think she's going to do fewer hours so she can go to more art classes in her free time. And is your brother James still teaching? He is, but he'd like to become a journalist one day. Can your uncle find him a job on his newspaper? I don't think so. Uncle Bill doesn't work in the newspaper office because he's out all day taking pictures for them. I see. What does his wife do? Aunt Anne's a doctor. She works very long hours, just like chefs do. Her daughter Diane works hard too. But she really loves her job. 
Is she an artist? That's her husband. Diane flies planes for one of the airlines. Ah,、oh, isn't she lucky? Travelling to different places. Yes, very. Now listen again. Hi, Joanna. Oh, hi, Harry. Good news. My dad's just got a new job. Really? Yes. He's become head chef at the new restaurant in town. Great. Do you think your mum will stop working at the hospital now? No. She loves being a nurse there. I think she's going to do fewer hours, so she can go to more art classes in her free time. And is your brother James still teaching? He is, but he'd like to become a journalist one day. Can your uncle find him a job on his newspaper? I don't think so. Uncle Bill doesn't work in the newspaper office because he's out all day taking pictures for them. I see. What does his wife do? Aunt Anne's a doctor. She works very long hours, just like chefs do. Her daughter Diane works hard too, but she really loves her job. Is she an artist? That's her husband. Diane flies planes for one of the airlines. Ah,、oh, isn't she lucky? Travelling to different places. Yes, very. Unit seventeen. Science and Technology, seventeen point two, Exercise two. Hi, Vanessa. Did you have a good weekend? Great. I went to see a special James Bond exhibition at the Science Museum.、Mm, sounds interesting, but I think museums are too expensive. I paid eight pounds last time I went.、Mm, this was only six pounds fifty. I did buy a guidebook as well. That was an extra two ninety-five. Hmm. How did you get there? You can take the underground, but I went by bus. It stops just outside. I got very tired walking around the museum, though. <laughs> What did you see? A James Bond's helicopter, which was my favourite, and the tiny camera, and his car,、oh, things like that. <laughs> it sounds great. How early can you go in? At nine. Not until ten, and we didn't get there until eleven thirty, so there wasn't enough time to see everything. Hmm. Can you eat there? Yes, you can even take a picnic. I had a sandwich at a cafe, but you can get a hot meal at the restaurant. Oh, I'd really like to go. I'm free next Saturday. That's the twenty-third of April. Ah,、uh, the exhibition's on until the twenty-seventh, so the Saturday may be busy. Well, I'll go on the twenty fourth then. Seventeen point two, exercise three. There wasn't enough time to see everything. I'd really like to go. I'm free next Saturday. That's the twenty third of April. The exhibition's on until the twenty seventh. Seventeen point two, exercise four. One. I'm going to buy a new calculator. Two. Aren't you coming to my house tonight? Three. Who's playing with my Game Boy? Four. I'd like a new mobile for my birthday. Five. Who is it? Six. Dan's borrowed my laptop again. Seven. They can't see the exhibition because it's closed. Eight. Has she been shopping yet? Yes, she has. Exam folder nine, listening part three, questions eleven to fifteen. Listen to Ellie talking to Chris about Lynn, his sister. For questions eleven to fifteen, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. 
You have 20 seconds. Hi, Chris. I hear Lynn's here. I thought she was coming on Saturday. Yeah, well, she came on Wednesday because she has to be at work again on Monday. Oh, that's a pity. How's Lynn's new job with that computer company? Oh, great. She did a course in London and now she's in New York for a year. Next year she may go to Hong Kong. Oh, that's brilliant. I'd like to work with computers. Mm, me too. But Lynn didn't study anything to do with computers at school. Dad taught her at home and then she did maths at university. Hmm, she must work hard. Yes, but she gets four weeks holiday a year. Next year it'll be six. My dad only gets five. Can I see her tomorrow? Of course. Um, come in the afternoon. She'll be in bed all morning. OK, I'll come after lunch. I've bought her a watch for her birthday. Oh, she really wanted me to get her a camera, but I only had enough money for a computer game, so I got that. I'm sure she'll like it. See you tomorrow. Now listen again. Hi, Chris. I hear Lynn's here. I thought she was coming on Saturday. Yeah, well, she came on Wednesday because she has to be at work again on Monday. Oh, that's a pity. How's Lynn's new job with that computer company? Oh, great. She did a course in London and now she's in New York for a year. Next year she may go to Hong Kong. Oh, that's brilliant. I'd like to work with computers. Mm, me too. But Lynn didn't study anything to do with computers at school. Dad taught her at home and then she did maths at university. Hmm, she must work hard. Yes, but she gets four weeks holiday a year. Next year it'll be six. My dad only gets five. Can I see her tomorrow? Of course. Um, come in the afternoon. She'll be in bed all morning. OK. I'll come after lunch. I've bought her a watch for her birthday. Oh, she really wanted me to get her a camera, but I only had enough money for a computer game, so I got that. I'm sure she'll like it. See you tomorrow. Unit 18. Health and well-being. 18.1. Exercise 5. Thank you for calling for information about the opening hours for chemists in your area. This information is for the week of the 15th to the 21st of December. There are two chemists, one in Sanford and one in Dursley. Bridges Chemist in Sanford opens at 8.45 from Monday to Saturday and closes at 6.30pm Monday to Friday and at 12.30pm on Saturday. The shop is at 53 Green Street, Sanford. There is a small car park next to the shop. Outside those hours, please go to Peter's. That's P-E-T-E-R-S. This is in Dursley at number 17, the High Street. It's on the other side of the road to the cinema and is open from 10.30am to 4.30pm on Sundays and has late opening to 8pm on weekdays. The telephone number is 0921 6582. Ring this number if you need to talk to the chemist at night. You can park in the high street on Sundays. 18.1. Exercise 7. Example. He's got a broken arm. We're here to make an appointment. 1. Can you call an ambulance? 2. Fruit and vegetables are very good for you. 3. You should do some exercise every day. 4. Watching TV all weekend is not good for you. 5. Make sure you get enough sleep every night.
Unit 19. Language and Communication. 19.1. Exercise 3. Hello, Ruth. Hi, Paul. I got your fax at work this morning. Congratulations on the new job. Thanks. I didn't have your email address with me, or Mario's, so I spoke to him on his mobile just now. Have you told Anna yet? Well, I left a message on her answer phone, but I think she's away. If I don't hear from her, I'll send her a text tomorrow. And what about your brother, Jack? He's away too, isn't he? Yes, in Argentina. I emailed him from home this morning after I opened the letter about the job. I know he'll be pleased. Was Tessa still in the flat when the post arrived? No, but I've left a big note on the kitchen table for her. <laughs> Remember to phone your professor and tell him. I can't, because the number at his university has changed. Oh, and he's no longer on email, is he? It doesn't matter. I've already told him the news on a postcard. I bought one of that Moroccan carpet we saw at the museum. <laughs> He'll like that. 19.1 Exercise 4 1. Congratulations on the new job. 2. I didn't have your email address. 3. I left a message on her answer phone. 4. Yes, in Argentina. 5. Remember to phone your professor and tell him. 6. The number at his university has changed. 7. I bought one of that Moroccan carpet we saw at the museum. Unit 20. People. 20.2. Exercise 3. Hello. This is Ruth Barnes. I've just heard I've won this month's radio competition. Ah, yes. Congratulations. Thanks. What have I won? You're lucky. It's two return tickets to Venice from anywhere in Britain. Oh, I'll go with my mum. But is that by plane? She doesn't really like flying. No problem. They're train tickets. Great. When do we have to use them by? Well, you must travel before the 30th of April. But today's only April the 5th, so there's plenty of time. We can go during my school holidays. Will you send me the tickets? No, you must come to our office and sign for them. Where are you? The address is 47 Leighton Road. That's L-E-Y-T-O-N. It's near the theatre. When shall I come? I'll be at school tomorrow and Friday. Saturday morning, then. And you can have a look around the radio station if you'd like to. Great. What time? About 10.30? Let's say 11.15. Then you can say hello to DJ Richard Rooster. His show finishes at 11. Oh, I've always wanted to meet him. Thanks very much. No problem. We'll see you soon. 20.2. Exercise 4. 1. What have I won? 2. When do we have to use them by? 3. Will you send me the tickets? 4. Where are you? 5. When shall I come? 6. What time? Test 5. This test is in the teacher's book. Listening Part 3 Listen to Patrick telling Maria about the school play they are writing. 
For questions one to five, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions one to five now. You have twenty seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Maria, I'm phoning about the school play. Can we meet at four o'clock to talk about it? Sorry, Patrick. I'm in a Spanish class until five. I can see you after that, at six. Great. Before then, can you tell me which folder on your laptop has the play in it? I've looked in the red one, but it's empty. It's in the green folder on the desktop. It's next to the blue one, which says songs. Right. Now, which part of the play do you want me to look at? Well, I'm quite happy with the beginning, and Tim's helped me with the bit in the middle, but the play doesn't finish very well. Can you put in something funny there? I can try. Now. You want me to get some information about ice storms. Where shall I look? See if there's a good website. I've tried the school library already, and our geography textbook doesn't have anything. Okay. Now, when do you want all this ready by? Well, we're doing the play on December the twelfth, and the last practice will be on the ninth. Can you get it to me by December the second? A week before that. Fine. Now about meeting later. Shall I come to your apartment? Why don't we meet at Tim's house? There's more space there than your flat or mine. Right. See you later then. Thanks, Patrick. Bye. Now listen again. Maria, I'm phoning about the school play. Can we meet at four o'clock to talk about it? Sorry, Patrick. I'm in a Spanish class until five. I can see you after that, at six. Great. Before then, can you tell me which folder on your laptop has the play in it? I've looked in the red one, but it's empty. It's in the green folder on the desktop. It's next to the blue one, which says songs. Right. Now, which part of the play do you want me to look at? Well, I'm quite happy with the beginning, and Tim's helped me with the bit in the middle, but the play doesn't finish very well. Can you put in something funny there? I can try. Now, you want me to get some information about ice storms. Where shall I look? See if there's a good website. I've tried the school library already, and our geography textbook doesn't have anything. Okay. Now, when do you want all this ready by? Well, we're doing the play on December the twelfth, and the last practice will be on the ninth. Can you get it to me by December the second, a week before that? Fine. Now, about meeting later. Shall I come to your apartment? Why don't we meet at Tim's house? There's more space there than your flat or mine. Right. See you later then. Thanks, Patrick. Bye.